Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a magnifying glass in After Effects. For that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. And I have also provided the illustration file in the link in the description. You can check it from there. Okay, let's jump into After Effects and start with our animation process. So let's import the illustration file. Let's drag the composition into the timeline and let's scale it up to fit inside the composition window. All right, let's open the composition. So these are the layers and here is the reflection and the shadow portion. We are going to give it a blending mode overlay. All right. After that, we need to make sure that the magnifying glass, the, this portion is exactly at the center of this composition. For that, we can turn on this for the reference. And for the anchor point reference, we have added an extra layer, which we don't need. We are going to delete it later on. So we are, we have added it so that we can properly track the position. So this is the anchor point of that particular layer and we are going to snap it with the center of this composition. For snapping, you can press and hold the control key and just click and track. So this was the layer, we can delete it now. Or rather I would change the anchor point of this one exactly at the center. Same for this one. And after that, let's delete this layer. So right now we are going to add an adjustment layer. So for that, right click on the empty area, go to new, then add an adjustment layer. Now let's rename it effect. We're going to apply effects on this adjustment layer and we're going to pull it below this magnifying glass. So when we apply effect on the adjustment layer, the effect will be applied the layers below it. So the first effect we are going to apply over here is the transform. Just double click on it to apply. All right, now we can give it a scale to add some magnifying. So we can pick up the value on how much we want to magnify. Let's give it 130%. So right now we can select this effect and add a mask over here for that. Let's pick this ellipse tool and we're going to add a mask. So to properly add a mask that is originating from the center, for that you can press and hold the, all, the control key and to create a perfect circle, you can press and hold the shift key as well. So basically I am currently pressing and holding the control key plus the shift key together to creating a perfect circle that is originating from the center. All right. Now after that, we are going to apply another effect in this adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets panel and type in bulge. So double click on it to apply the effect. So it basically does is it gives some kind of this lens kind of an effect. So the divergence effect. Now we are going to add the value for horizontal and the vertical radius. So let's give it 392.5 for both. And then we're going to add the bulge height. So bulge height is going to add how much height you want to give to the lens or how much divergence. So let's give it 0.5. This one is better. Okay, now we let's add a null layer. And let's 
move the anchor point to exactly at the center of this null and then we are going to move this null exactly at this center let's rename it magnifying glass all right so now we are going to select all these three layers parent it with this one but right now if you try to move it you can notice that the effect is not moving the magnifying and the bulge effect that we have applied so for that select this effect layer we need to pick with the position anchor point and the bulge center with the position of this null layer so just parenting on to do the job over here and also make sure that to the layer with which you want to pick with the position property that shouldn't be linked with any other layer or parented with any other layer such as for this one so every other layer is parented with this one and this one is not parented with any layers so right now we are going to get inside effects transform we are going to pick with position with the position of this null layer anchor point with the position of this null layer and then to just uh, link the bulge effect we need to pick with the bulge center with the position all right right now if we try to move it we can see the bulge effect and even the magnifying effect is moving and right now we can get a proper magnifying glass effect like this all right so it's completely rigged and right now we can animate this magnifying glass so let's animate it so before starting the animation let's lock out and shy out all the layers that are not necessary so we are going to shy out all the layers except the magnifying glass because to animate we only need this layer itself okay so let's jump on to next one second so for that enter plus 30 but we are going to start our animation from here so let's add keyframe on position on rotation let's jump on to next six second we can slightly give an anticipation for that we can rotate it in the opposite side and a very uh, at around one degree and slightly move it down after that let's jump on to next 20 frames we are going to move it over here and also put a rotation or change the value of the rotation then again jump on to next six second six frames and add keyframes and here we are going to add some overshoot so we can just move slightly in the opposite direction same with the rotation property as well we can give around one dig we can add just one degree to it all right let's check it let's easy is the keyframes all right now we can offset the rotation okay so right now we can add another keyframe and just jump on to next 60 frames and we can slide the magnifying glass till this end so as if it is watching the this text with the help of magnifying glass and also slightly rotate it even add some offset to add a follow through let's check out all right so like this you can animate a magnifying glass in after effects so to try it on your own i have provided the illustration file for this one 
and do let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubt regarding the lesson so that is it for this lesson if you like it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i will be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye